Hello everyone, welcome back for the next part of The Wolf Among Us. Wow, what a game. Totally different than anything I've ever played before. So far, we found the head of a girl named Faith at the doorstep of the hotel, and I made the choice to go to Lawrence first. You're excited to see where this story is going to go along with me? Do me a huge favor, smack that like button. Let's do this. Sometimes I just do not have enough time to read it. Oh, the window's cracked open. Uh, let's look first. Ah, he's still there. Yeah. Or she? Is it a girl, maybe? I thought this was supposed to be uh, the the husband. Let's see, open or talk to... Oh, it's just going to open. <laughs> We're not going to get a response. All right. I'll Wait try for this the police. Now. Guess we're out of options. I didn't even try, like, the front Come on, door. Help me up. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't look suspicious at all, does it? Oh, there's flies and stuff. He's been dead a while. Well, there's a gun down there, too. Very late. That makes two fables dead. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. So someone's killing the fables. Okay, looks like I can look around. Let's read that real quick. I'm so glad you guys said that you like the fact that I'm reading these because this adds so much to the game. I don't know why somebody wouldn't want to read these. Prince Lawrence, Faith's husband. After escaping the homelands, Prince Lawrence and his wife, Faith, immediately fell victim to the harsh realities of the mundane world. They moved to New York hoping to find aid in a community of fellow fables. But without enough money to live in Fable Town, they had to settle on an apartment on the outskirts of the neighborhood. I wondered why, because I thought they said all the fable people were in that place either there or the farm. I didn't realize other places were even considered an option. Unfortunately, that meant they were out of sight and out of mind when it came to government assistance. Their prospects dwindling, Faith left Lawrence to try to make it on her own. Now, without his wife for support, Lawrence struggles to motivate himself and quickly sinks into depression. Oh. I mean, are they thinking suicide? That doesn't look like it could have been a suicide. There's no way they're thinking suicide. Okay, well, let's... Let's look around. Can I use... Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. I can really look around this place. Okay, cool. Uh, still got water. Let's see if his freezer looks better than ours. Oh, pay the rent next week. Pizza in the fridge. Please don't look for me. What did it say? Please don't look for me. Goodbye. F. Must mean faith. Okay. Okay. I guess that's all we can do there. I can't reach the bottle up on the top, right? That looks... That looks suspicious to me. Okay. How far forward can we go? Can we go inside of here? Oh, that's the front... What is that? Is that like one of those hideaway beds? You know, since we didn't actually try the front door. Who knows what that might actually be. Touch the blood? Let's look at it. I don't think we should touch it. Strange. Hard edge to this pool. Like something was here and got moved. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh, it might be a hideaway bed. Uh, let's pull it. Son of a... That's convenient. Take a look at this. What is that? My, my dearest Faith, I never, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing, knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Not quite sure how that's going to sound. If it sounds stuttery, 
when I'm reading it. It's because I had to keep clicking on it, and then I'm going to stitch them together in editing. I don't know, maybe I can just pick up the note and been easier to read. Bed a little. Ugh. My dearest Faith, oh. I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Yeah, I'm not buying that. You're gonna put the bed up. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. She's awfully close. <laughs> oh my god, Rigby, he's alive! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. oh. What are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Oh no. Uh, when was the last time you saw your wife? What What's happened? We found your suicide note. Uh, what happened? What happened? I don't know. I... Uh, shit. I shot myself in the heart. I uh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably hit a lung. Great. Uh, at least that's how I think it happened. Oh, well, he's not even sure. Fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away. But she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. He didn't She's kill her off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. He hurt her probably to try to drive her away. She's that always been there for me. Someone heard your wife has been killed. I'm sorry to inform you. He's coming right out with it. Your wife has been killed. No. I know he hasn't done it. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. No, I'm sorry. He I might am. He might have a clue about I'm who did it, though. Help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Georgie! It's a new name. Uh, you need to pull it together. No, I know this isn't the case. Lawrence, I, uh... Do you... Are you expecting anyone? I'll see who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife. Play dead. What if they come in here and actually kill him? Uh oh. Oh, that's a convenient little space right there. Yo, who's this guy? Intruder. Can't look? I don't know who that is. He's looking for something. 
wonder if this is that Georgia guy. It's a big dude. Jump out. I'm not gonna jump out. I'm gonna stay hidden as long as it'll let me. Bigby, he has a gun. Oh no. My goodness. Stay here. No. What happened with the closet? Why couldn't he open it? Come on, big Hey, dude. stop. Oh, no. <laughs> we got Leave some me alone. Time things going on here. Oh, no. D. Okay. Come on, come, come, come. Uh, we're gonna go this way. It's swinging. You stayed on his trail. <laughs> oh, dude, good jump. Far better than mine. But I'm half your size. Oh, there we go. Oh, right on. Hey. Ease up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You, son uh, of a bitch. Why'd you run? Make me run after you. Or why? Big guy, he can move. <laughs> did you run? What? Why did you run? A fucking guy blew his face off in front of me. The fuck would you do? You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions too. Uh, what were you doing back there? Who are you? Hit him. <laughs> Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Uh, oh, no. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Oh, no. <gasps> Ooh. You almost looked peaceful. <laughs> yep. Except Ouch. you're lying in a dirty alley. Yeah. With an open me? wound on the back of your head. Yeah. Uh, what happened? Where did they go? Uh, Where'd that they one. Go. Well, after the one guy hit you and the other one finished kicking you. That explains the ribs. <laughs> and they jumped into a car and drove off. Oh, my Come gosh. on, get up. At least they didn't kill him. He's lucky about that we should check in on toad see if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail wow the woodsman apartment early morning and we ended up going out the window and i landed on toad's car you guys made a real mess yeah. oh so that's where we were Looks at worse than the day <laughs> hole in I the wall don't think anybody's here We wow. came all this way for nothing. Uh oh. All right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Hmm. So, the Tweedles. Now, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I I do remember them. I don't remember them being like big dudes like that, though. I don't know. The Tweedle brothers, Dumb and D, are 
thugs for hire. They appear human, allowing them to carry out their contracts in the Monday world without drawing suspicion. They are as inseparable as they are ruthless. Got that right. What I'm wondering, if I would have jumped out of the closet, if I would have saved Lawrence. I think his mind was made up already, but what I... No, he didn't stab himself. Okay, here's where I'm a little confused. I didn't get to look at everything in that apartment, but I could have swore there was a bloody knife or sword or dagger or something like that on the ground. And there was a gun on the ground. If he shot himself with the gun trying to kill himself, what was the the sword or the dagger doing there? Because he picked the gun up and used it again. It's not like he picked up the knife to stab himself. So was that planted there? Because I don't think he killed his wife. I'm, I, I would be flabbergasted to find out he did it. No, he was, if in his way of saying he hurt her, the thought of him killing her never even came to mind. I think he hurt her in a way where he probably said something really mean or something to try to drive her away. I don't think he actually killed her. I think that was planted in some fashion, but I guess we'll keep going forward. All right, we still have these over here. Scrap of fabric, Faith's ring, and the tarot card. You know, Toad was actually my my number one suspect out of all the people we've met so far. He was my number one suspect, except for this scrap of fabric, which they made it sound like I thought they were blue jeans. At least they kind of had a look of a blue jean on him. But the way they're almost playing Toad off like he's the victim, he's this little guy, he doesn't want to follow the rules and stuff. I feel like there's a lot of misdirection that's being used with Toad, so that's why I was like, I wonder about him. But he doesn't exactly have a lot of clothes. Is that his son? Toad's, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Of course. Uh, talk to or enter. Yeah, we'll we'll talk. Hey, We're Toad. Be nice. You in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. No, uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. Hmm. So, you know. False alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. Mm, what's, what's going, going on? on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Big B. There I don't know what you mean. There. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. <laughs> is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Mm -hmm. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm sorry you came uh, all the I'll way here for ready. nothing. But it was nothing, really. I'm gonna look around. Someone was here, and something's going on. And just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh -huh. uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you alright? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could, perhaps, let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Oh. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure <laughs> thing. Doesn't look like a really nice, clean place. What happened here? How'd this happen? Fell off? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? <laughs> uh-huh. Alright. What else we got around here, Toad? I'm not buying this, buddy. Sorry. I don't think so. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if somebody's still even hiding here. 
Ooh, is that blood? He looks worried. You bleeding? Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. <laughs> he ain't a very good liar. Not at all. Can I... Okay, let's check this. Uh, let's look first. Almost look like little claw marks, maybe? Uh... Yeah. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, no. I... There's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. <laughs> Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, and the po oh, has it got blood on the end of the poker? Explain that one, Toad. And what happened here? The poker? What of it? There's more blood on the tip. Did this happen before or after you came in the window? After, after. Oh, I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit, sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Look like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Uh, made a fire. You cut yourself, but didn't put the poker away after? Oh, I'm sorry, me housekeeping's not up to your standards. Uh huh. Uh, talked his way out of that one. Oh no! I should have picked something oh, different. My God, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? <laughs> I mean, uh, I think someone's attacking. You know? I think you're hiding something. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just going to make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. He's scared of somebody. He's making some horrible stories. What do we got here? Nope, nope, nope. Down. Back down. Right here. Let's take a look at this. That That's where the lamp light. was? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Oh. Uh. Maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? It's the lamp, for sure. Now we know he's lying. <laughs> okay, Sheriff. Now what? Was broke here. He left a toy. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Uh, Don't you think I'll know what happens in the it? Mark in the because dust. the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Who fucking cares? That's right. Bloody hell, mate. Come on. Get off with this. Caught him in a lie. That's right, baby. Yeah, I know. You think you got away with something. He ain't. You ain't got away with it, Toad. Is there anything else? Uh, let's look at that. Oh, it looks like it was kicked Why is in. Why the lock busted? Huh? The lock. It he said he like was locked out. Kicked in the door. A spot of dust and a broken lock. What are you getting at, mate? Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. 
bloody hell, Big B. What sinister bit have you uncovered? Bless this the time? Why the tap water fixed running? It? Didn't then stop the you... recycling? That's What's what the I was point wondering. of all this, mate? Really? Why'd you climb in through the window then? That's right. Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? I you didn't know it yourself, lie. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state <laughs> I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... They're sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say to my face. Hey, you think I'm hiding something from you? Uh-huh. I've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When no. are you going to leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In me uh. own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, That's right. Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Uh... You li I'm not gonna I'll threaten you. In. I broke the lamp. Toad, these stories have made no sense. Yep. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? <laughs> Not really. Ooh. Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. He's the one that Take was off hit. the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, I... A Tweedle, Dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. Ooh. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Uh, so really? Before, where did he go? We were lucky it didn't go any further. What did you tell him? Nothing. There's nothing he wanted to know, except if I had this thing that he wanted. What if it's that ring? Him. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bowels to the coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. Borrows. Well, borrows. Steal nothing. <laughs> Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I well, merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Ooh, in the chimney. Wonder if it's still gonna be clean. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Ugh. Wait. That's a coat? It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Uh, we're gonna read that. <laughs> of course. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence did. Well, Dead. it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. <laughs> it was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. 
<laughs> and don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. So we're not gonna give these guys like a safer place to go or something for a little bit? We definitely don't want to let people know that we know. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know, someone who will know where to find him. It's my best lead. <laughs> Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Wow. Panic in the... Parius? Parlors? Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. Oh, I better it be ready. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. If he cooperates. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but mm. I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna give an answer yet. You My, can't tell if you don't know or just won't say. Left her unsure. Yeah, I would have said the pimp. But I don't know. I, I don't think it's anybody we've met so far. Even Tweedledee and Tweedledum, I, I don't think they did it. Thank for your help. Good job. Thanks for your help. Thanks I wish you. there was... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh... Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I oh, just... I was hoping she wouldn't back out of what she was going to say. I almost didn't. Seeing all this today, that. there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to prostitution. I, I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs best. things his own way. Uh, Crane's the problem. Crane is the one to blame here, not you. Yep. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. Hmm. I'm more to blame than anyone. You'll fix it. Gatekeeper, huh? All right. She appreciated that. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Ooh. You can change that. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. <laughs> maybe this isn't for me. Um, I thought public maybe you can service leave. was You'll figure it out. Uh, the stick with it. Help. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within. Uh, sure. <laughs> not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Trip trap. It's gonna be like a bar. Yeah, maybe you should handle this one. Looks sketchy. Yeah, maybe I should.
Bigby. I... Um, just be careful. Please. Uh, always. I always. like that answer. That's what I would say. I wonder what kind of results you get if you just select the three dots for everything. Because I feel like that's always been an option, to say nothing. It is a bar. The Trip Trap Bar. A little nervous about running into the woodsman again, though. We didn't exactly see eye to eye the first go. somebody new what do you want sheriff uh sheriff business in the neighborhood let's try to be friendly i was in the neighborhood thought let's i'd pop in and say hello try a strategic well, fucking hello now you, you can get the fuck out of here you avoided a direct answer look i'm not even gonna ask where he is now okay i just want to know the last time he was here that's all who I'm being nice, so try again. I was being nice. He hasn't nice. been here for a few weeks. <laughs> no, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Uh, you're your own woman. Doesn't he tell you close? Uh, I'd just like to... Uh, I'd like some help. I'd just like some help. Could, be out couldn't quite read it. Hop well, on all I'd the way. be willing to help you out of here. Would that help? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, did we get any new ones? We have not. All right, so she's not cooperating. Uh, we got up here. That's him, and that looks like it might be her in the picture. Let's ask her about it. He a regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. We're not saying his name, huh? We got here. Empty glass. Whose is that? Someone who left. Uh, the woodsman? Someone like the guy I'm looking for? No, I'm telling you. I haven't seen him for a couple days. <laughs> she is not going to cooperate. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. The word's getting out. <laughs> yeah, not exactly a lot going on here. Let's see, can I walk around at all? Okay, what we got here? Cigarette machine. Yeah, we could probably yeah. go for those. All right, what's this? Uh, pickled eggs? Let no, me solve thanks. the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. Right? Okay, let's take the seat next to this guy. Free beer tomorrow. Well, in this place. Uh... Only one next to you. I don't want to have to yell. But there's only one right next to you. I'm trying this whole friendly tactic in here. See if it'll work. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, that's awesome. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. Sure. <laughs> I think they have some at the bar down the street. Oh! <laughs> think that's funny? Not good for business. Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was alright. Uh, help me help you. I'm losing patience. Harboring a fugitive will cost you... Let's just do three dots on that one. I wondered...
I wondered. <laughs> Shaking his head though. Holly, you're out of paper towels in the... Hello, Woodsman. How's your head? Got a splitting headache? <laughs> it's bandaged up. Uh, save your beer. One or number two. Oh, I gotta ask one or two. Number one or number two? For your sake, uh... I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. <laughs> you and me been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. He looks like he's kind of down. Come quietly, that makes two of us. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. I like that answer. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. <laughs> Uh, it's been a long day. I just want to talk. Uh, I just want to talk. I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Yeah, I was going to say, we can ask. It's okay, Grant. <laughs> Who's that guy? funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. The big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. Why did you do it? Yeah, you know why I'm here. That, huh? you played your hand. Three dots. I ain't accusing There's him not of nothing. Much else. to explain. It's no big secret. I needed money. I'd walked past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. I did. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. I'm gonna keep hitting the dots. See if he'll keep spilling the beans. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody. Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. And they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Uh, lapdog. Lapdog. Really? Like Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. Uh... I'm gonna say now that... I mean, he's I right. Growl too. Oh, good. What... is that? should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh. My goodness. That dude's huge. Oh. Oh. That ain't gonna do nothing. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Yep. It's a little better. How am I not dead? It's 
So is he considered the boss? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I'm talking about. Oh. Had enough. Oh, walk away. My goodness. <laughs> Woo, pretty tough when he goes into wolf mode. Whiskey. <laughs> She's so big, too. To help him calm down, take the edge off. You see this? Send the build a crane. Uh. Submit a damage report with my office. Fable Town will pay for this. Charge the drink on there, too. And the glass. Crane should do something. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? He started it. Run if it'll be worse. No. He, he started it. Hey, Look at that. He started it. Yep. I was being very kind. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, buddy. Oh, great. Oh, no. I have to choose. Uh, we're going over here. I want the woodsman. Ah, you said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. I ain't worried about that guy yet. Guy's covered in blood and you let him go? No one asked you. Ah. Come on. You're under arrest. I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. I feel like we're gonna get more information out of the woodsman than we will even if we caught that guy. There's no way he's going to just start spilling beans or talk very much. He's still looking for information also. We're literally just going to walk. Walk back? Uh-oh. Do anything stupid and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. All right. Snow's okay, isn't she? Oh no, what happened? There's Beast. Be another head? Hmm. 
no. Next time on The Wolf we Among Us. We had something very special. Who else is involved? The girl with the coat. Serial killer. Oh. Oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us? Wait, the big fat guy's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Uh-oh. Not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to plunge someone. We can arrange that. Huh. What did you do? Uh, friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, Big Baby. Is that you? Whoa. Wow. That's pretty wild the way that it, it does that. You and 84.5% of people gave Faith the money. Oh, this is cool. You and 59% of people lied and said you hadn't seen Beauty. Where did you decide to go first? You and 30.8% went to... Pr oh, so I'm in the minority for that choice. What happened to Lawrence? You revived Prince Lawrence, but he died by his own hand. Who is your prime suspects? You and 26.8% players didn't say anything to Snow. From that list, it would have to be one of these three on the bottom. I, I, I'm like 99% sure wasn't Lawrence. I don't think it was him. He might know a little bit more about what happened. But I don't think, I think he was telling the truth when he said he went up there to rob her. Or maybe he went up there to do something. Maybe robbing wasn't what it was, but he went up there to do something. But I don't think he killed her. I mean, he's got the axe and all, but I'm, I'm almost certain. I think that's a big misdirect. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, I think they're looking for information on behalf of whoever their employer is. I'm going to guess he's the employer, but I don't know yet. And this guy, I don't even know who he is. Unless that's supposed to be the guy that mutated there at the end, but he looks a lot different there. I can't tell. Who did you arrest? When it came down to the wire, you and 31... <laughs> I went the minority round on that one too. I like this. I think we're going to get more information out of the woodsman than this guy here. I don't think he would have been very helpful. Not to mention his brother might have come back to uh, try to bust him out before I got information. Wow. That's super cool. So we're ready for chapter two. Well, I think this is a good spot to end this episode. I hope you guys are joining it. Enjoying it. Let me know, you know, where did you rank on some of these things? Who did you end up choosing? Did you did you have a suspect at this point or did you choose to say nothing? I'm kind of curious. This is so much fun. And this is definitely the kind of game where I almost feel like I'll need to play through it again just to see how different choices affect the story. And I don't know if this thing has multiple endings or not. I don't know. Maybe it's got one ending but you've got several different paths of how you get there or the consequences like the fact that snow died i got a feeling she dies no matter what i do because they make that the dramatic moment of the end of this but i don't know that sucks that she died though okay well that's it for this episode until next time you all continue to be safe out there i'll see you on the next one